So you know how I said that the Centurion is hard to play and I found it a difficult tank to play. I think I figured out why. It turns out that it's not a heavy tank, even though it is in reality, in real life, 60 tons, the same as a Tiger heavy tank. Um, but it doesn't play like a heavy tank, nor does it play like a medium tank. It's not quick, nimble, agile and low enough to really be a medium tank. No, I think the Centurion, the way they've made it, and the coolest one, shot, nice shot, one shot, lucky one, good damage roll there. Um, hats off to World of Tanks for doing it this way. Centurion, in real life, represents a revolution in tank design. It was the first true main battle tank. I think, if anything, it's a successor to the King Tiger, who can be considered the, in my opinion anyway, the predecessor to all main battle tanks. It was too slow to really be a main battle tank, but the thinking is is about the same. It's a true place like main battle tank, which means that it requires a completely different playstyle. For example, the T-54, even a pattern that you think it would be most like because of the gun depression and the fairly good rotation speed. And this particular game I chose to show you because it really shows off the strength of the of the Centurion. Now I said in my last review of Centurion they had no armor. Actually that's not entirely true. It's got 120 mm frontal armor, 152 mm turret armor. So what I find is, and I found this over playing it, uh, I think I've got a couple of hundred games in it now, that if you angle your tank correctly, it can bounce quite a few shots. And funny enough, it's got more armor on the turret than the um, than the Conqueror has. The Conqueror, to me, seems a complete mystery at this point, because it's got the same gun, less armor, less maneuverability than the Centurion, which is a same tier tank. So the Conqueror, in, in that light, seems completely pointless. The Centurion here, what I do is I stick my turret up and you know, they're hard pressed to penetrate 152 millimeters of slope armor, especially when I angle my turret, which I tr uh, I don't do too well in that, in this, to be honest. I should be angling my turret, driving up and driving back. I don't really. So, bear with me for that. But look at this. Boom. The accuracy of that gun, the alpha damage, and the quite extraordinary penetration of 268 millimeters. You know, normally I would hesitate to shoot the turret of a Super Pershing, but, you know, it's like a, a knife through hot butter. There's my brethren, the King Tiger on my left. Yeah, that was um, an angled turret on a KV-3. That was never really going to work without gold. Have you noticed, by the way, a lot more people are using gold these days? I find it especially in the team battles. I never use gold ammo or premium ammo or whatever, just because I'm cheap, <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, some quite a few people seem to do that now. Ah, that was a bad, bad shot. But, you know, racking up the kills here. That's nice. Doing quite a lot of damage. I think I end up around the three and a half thousand damage total, which is good in any tank, but a tier 9 medium, I mean. <laughs> You know, I'd be hard pressed to do that in most tier tents. See, that's the second hit of that's actually penetrated. I think the uh, when I looked at the stats after this battle, I'd been hit about ten times with two penetrations. So I must withdraw my former statement that the Centurion has no armor. It is a main battle tank. It is not a light, it is not a medium, it is not a tank destroyer, and it certainly isn't a heavy tank. It does have the gun of a heavy tank, which is quite remarkable. By the way, this 105mm gun in its time was considered the best gun in the world, just like the 17 pounder quick firing before it. Now, there's the um, T28 with the turret. Typically, you can actually penetrate that turret. Uh, from the side, from the front, whatever. I'm not gonna get that kill, 
but still you see quite a lot of damage done on my part in half thousand. <laughs> 